Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to channel. I'm back with the second episode of our treasure box series. On the previous episode, we've made the top part of the chest, and for this video, we'll make the bottom part. Also, like the previous video, I'll give you a tiny challenge at the end of the video. And if you're not a member, don't forget to subscribe and like the video for supporting. So let's hit the nail and get started. On the previous episode, we've made this part the top part of the chest, and now on this video, we're gonna make this part the bottom part, also the handle part, these parts here. And this part, the locker part, will be for the third episode and the upcoming episode, I mean. So let's get started. We're gonna take this one, this plane here, select it and press tab to go to edit mode, and press 3 to go to face selection mode. Then select this face and let's take a copy of this one by shift D and right click to cancel the movement and hit P then selection to separate this as a new object. And press G and Z to bring it a little bit down and you see that it's a new object itself and we can work on it separately. So tap in to go to edit mode, press A to select everything and just fix its position also we can rotate it a little bit we have to look at our reference and go on with the reference image and i think it have to be a little bit inside of the upper one like that and just like that and it should be a little bit uh, crooky like this it shouldn't be just straight just like that because we're gonna make it somehow realistic so that it shouldn't be that ideal so I think that's good and then let's take another copy of this one by shift D and bring it to the lower part of this one and it should go on up to there maybe and press tab to go to object mode and that's it it's really good let's add a mirror modifier for this one actually we've added already and we can turn the Y axis for this one to repeat the mirror on the back part as well so that's really good and proper for us let's take another copy for this one shift d and right click to cancel the movement this time we can rotate it 90 degrees on z axis press r then z and type 90 then we have it press 1 to go to front of the graphic view then tap in to go to edit mode and then press a then g and move it on the x axis just like that but it's inclined so much we have to correct it press select this one Let's come out of the front of the graphic view, press A to select everything. Then we have to scale it on the Y axis, press S then Y, scale it on the Y. And also we can press 3 to go to the side of the graphic view. Then make sure to enable the X-ray selection mode, hold Alt C. Then select the vertex mode from here, then select these vertices and just find the correct position of these ones. It should go up to there and also these ones press G and Y then bring them to the correct positions just like that it, ha it has to go inside them so press 3 to go to face selection mode select this one then hold Alt Z to come to the solid view and we have to rotate it on the Y axis to fix its position like the reference image that we have here then hit G and X and move it a little bit inside. Also select the upper one and rotate it on the Y axis a little bit as well. And we can move it inside just like that. Press tab to go to object mode and you see that we've created this part as well. So the bottom part is left. For this one we can bring a plane, a simple plane. Press 1 to go to front of the graphic view, bring it down up to there and scale it on the Z just like that. Then press 3 and scale it on the y-axis just up to that point and its position is really good we can bring it a little bit lower probably and also scale it down on the x even further a little bit just like that then this part is left so let's create the metal holders, these parts, as we created for the upper parts. Select this one and press tab to go to edit mode. And also hold down Alt C buttons and press 1 to go to vertex selection mode and select these vertices, all of them here. Then take a copy of this one by Shift D and then bring it lower, just like that. 
then press P, then selection to separate it as a new object. And now select this object, press 3 to go to side of the graphic view. Let's disable the X-ray selection mode by holding Alt-C. Then come to the edit mode, press A to select everything and bring it outside just like that. And we can rotate it to fit the rotation as we have it for the wood parts here and bring it a little bit down it ha it has to go a little bit lower than this part and also let's enable the exo selection mode again select these vertices and bring them all up to that point and also we can rotate them a little bit just like that and press f to fill it and now we can select this one one of these vertices and Hover your mouse on it, press L to select all of the linked vertices and take a copy of this one, bring it higher a little bit. It has to go up to there. And even we can bring it a little bit outside just like that. So press tab out to go to object mode. Let's come to the solid view by holding Alt C. But as we did for the wood part, this part, we can just take the Y option here to repeat the same process for this one as well. It's not a big deal. It's a piece of cake. So the last part is left is the handle part and it's made of two pieces. The first one is the holder part and the second one is the handle itself. And we're going to make them for the last piece of this tutorial. Press shift A and bring a cube and then scale it down. So come to the edit mode by pressing tab, press A to select everything, then G and X to grab it on the X axis and make sure to move it on the edit mode not the object mode because when you move it on the edit mode the pivot point still remains on its own position and we need it for mirroring later because we want to mirror it to the left part as well because of that i moved it on the edit mode but if you move it on the object mode just like that let's come back several steps backwards and i'm now i'm on the object mode and i move it on the object mode and you see that the pivot point is moving with the object as well and we don't want it and it won't work for the mirroring objects so let's control z and now press tab to go to edit mode and g then x and move it on the edit mode just like that then press tab out to go to object mode scale it down a little bit as well just like that and then tap in to go to edit mode and bring it outside up to there and select these vertices here then press x then faces because we won't need the inside face for that reason, we just deleted that. Tab out to go to object mode and press 3 to go to the side or the graphic view to see what's happening here properly. Then tab in again to go to edit mode, press A to select everything and bring it to the right part or maybe left part, there's no difference. And we can scale it down a little bit, just like that. Something like this is good and cool for us. Then let's take a copy of this one and press Y and bring it all the way up to that point. So press A to select all of them and S then X to scale them on the X axis a little bit just like that. And press Alt C to go to solid view and on the edit mode, make sure you're in the edit mode. Move them on the X axis a little bit inside. It should go inside the face here. So press tab to go to object mode now and we can add a bevel modifier for this one and just like the previous ones I'm going to increase the segments to 4 and make the amount really low just like that and right click then shade smooth. So let's create the handle part itself for this one we can bring any object you want but I'm going to go on with the plain one. Press 3 to go to side or to graphic view. Bring it to the middle of one of these cubes, uh, this one or this one, there's no difference. And then tap in to go to edit mode, then press A to select everything. And make sure you're on the vertex select mode. So press M, then at center. And now we have just one vertex here. Press 1 to go to front or to graphic view and hold down Alt C to enable the X-ray selection mode. And there we go, this is our vertex. Let's extrude it on the X axis. Press E then X to extrude it on the X axis, just up to there. And press tab to go to object mode and bring them all the way up to that point to see it properly. Then hold down Alt C to go to solve view, then press tab to go to edit mode and select this edge here. 
then extrude it on the y-axis just up to there also press 3 to see it properly from the side view then let's grab it on the y-axis and we have to move it all just up to there to the middle of this uh, cube here then we have to extrude it back on the x-axis just like that press tab to go to object mode and then let's apply the scale by holding ctrl a then click on the scale then come back to object mode select this vertex and then this vertex then with ctrl shift b you can bevel these edges and i'm gonna bevel it with maybe four vertices just like that then tap out to go to object mode and press f3 and search for convert to curve and if you see that we have a curve icon here and it's a curve now then come down all the way down and find the geometry tab here and open it and come to the bevel part and under the bevel part we have to increase the depth of it a little bit maybe 0.3 or point probably 0 0.04 is good yeah i like it then right click then shade smooth and now when you're satisfied with the result press f3 again and this time we have to type for convert to mesh and now it's a mesh and it's not a curve anymore so select this part and then the whole part and now hold ctrl j to make them one object and if you rotate your object you see that we have just one object and now we can add a mirror modifier for this one and you see that it's mirrored to the left part as well and we have just one object instead of two objects but I think it's a little bit too long here. Press tab to go to object modes. Select this vertex or one of these vertices on the handle part itself and hover your mouse on it. Then press L. And now we can G and X to grab it and move it a little bit backwards, just like that. And come to the X ray selection mode. Press 1 to go to front or to graphic view. Select these vertices and make sure that they aren't popping out of just like that. We have to bring them inside of that because when we because later when we move these parts when we want to animate them we won't see them inside the object so this part is done up to here and for the next video i'm going to give the challenge you have to create this locker part yourself for the next video try to be creative and make it in your own ways and methods so i hope you've enjoyed the video and learned something as well from this video also, if you're new to the channel and haven't subscribed yet, just click on that button below to be one of us and subscribe in the channel. And if you enjoyed the video, just click on that like button below. So, see you on the next video.